I've been getting after it a whole lot lately with the Iron Bull competition bar. And aside from the sheer versatility it brings to the table, my three favorite things are the affordable price tag, the four different finishes it comes in, and it comes in two different sizes. If you're looking for a new barbell to serve as the only one in your home gym, but you don't want to spend over 300 bucks, I think your search might have just ended. And I think you know what time it is now, at least I hope you do. It's time for a full review. Let's get to it. What's up everybody, it's Jake back in the Barbin Garage Gym and for today's video, I've got the Iron Bull Competition Bar in for review. If you don't know how this whole process works, I'm gonna talk about a lot of stuff in this video today, but specifically we're gonna talk about some money, some pros and cons I've noticed while working out with this bar, most importantly, who should or maybe should not purchase it for their home gym. Now, one more quick thing before I start talking my head off, I gotta let y'all know we've reviewed a ton of barbells on barbin.com and we did the hard part for you and made a best list of all of our top choices. So if you wanna check that out, all you gotta do is search Barbend, best barbells, it's gonna pull right up for you. You can find out for yourself which ones we like the best. Okay, so let's talk some pros and cons here and I think the first thing I gotta talk about is the money. Don't worry, I'm gonna expand in just a second and talk about the different coating options. Remember, there's four different ones you can purchase, but the cheapest this bar is, it's like 200 bucks, and that's pretty cheap compared to plenty of other multi-purpose bars out there. They're gonna be 400 to $500. This is also, you know, it comes in two different sizes, 15 and 20 kilograms, so it's gonna allow all athletes to, you know, get usage out of this bar. And then also, this is a multi-purpose bar, so it's gonna save you money again as opposed to purchasing, you know, a powerlifting bar just for your power lifts and an Olympic bar just for your Olympic and CrossFit style lifts. Speaking of that versatility, so you have ball bearings in the loading sleeves right here. It's gonna create a pretty solid rate of spin as you're going to do hang cleans, power cleans, you know, whatever it is. But also, the knurling right here is pretty moderate. It's a volcano style knurling, so each individual marking right here kind of dips in like a volcano does. So you get four points of contact with every, each and every single individual point. So it really increases the grip, but since it's moderate, you know, it's not gonna rip your hands up and it's gonna be great for anybody who is you know, doing explosive movements like that where the bar is rotating in your hands. And one more, one more quick thing I forgot to mention, the reason that you know, these ball bearings are nice in the loading sleeves is because it reduces the amount of torque that your wrists and your elbows endure, I guess you could say, as you're going to do any style of lift like you know, power clean again, for example, where that bar is rotating and you're having to use a lot of force you know, on your joints. Now, when it comes to those cons, we gotta talk about the knurling first. Yeah, it is gonna be you know, solid for anybody who is doing you know, high repetition movements like that. But at the same time, it can be pretty slick at times. So you know, if you're a dedicated power lifter, or you're doing a bunch of heavy deadlifts, you know, whatever the case is, that you might not be too crazy about this. You know, texture, knurling, all that, it's all personal preference. And so it's gonna vary from person to person, but that's definitely something you need to be aware of. And then lastly, you know, it's just not the best at any one lift. Just because it can be used across all of them it doesn't mean it's gonna outperform a power bar for your power lifts or an Olympic bar for your Olympic lifts. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so let's expand on the money now as I promised and let's start with the 15 kilogram bar. So it comes in two different options, $200 for the black chrome and it's gonna be 250 for the pink Cerakote. Now, 20 kilogram bar, remember this is black zinc. So zinc is a little bit more resistant to rust and corrosion. So definitely just keep that in mind. This is also gonna cost you 200 bucks while the red Cerakote for the 20 kilogram bar is also 250. Now, with the stainless steel, it only comes in you know, the 20 kilogram bar but it's gonna cost you 300 bucks. I didn't stutter, I didn't say it wrong, $300. Dude, that is a crazy deal, honestly. You know, most stainless steel bars are gonna run you close to $500. And if you don't already know, stainless steel offers the highest level of protection against rust and corrosion. So you have to spend you know, less time 
cleaning your bar, which you, you should still clean it. They all get gross over time, but you won't have to worry about rust and corrosion as much. And not everybody, you know, has a climate controlled gym they work out in, keep all their gear in. So that's really going to come in handy if that's you. Now, end of the day, you know, obviously that stainless steel is way below market average. You know, barbells like the Rogue Ohio bar, excuse me, the Rogue Ohio bar, stainless steel version, like I said, it's going to cost you about $500. So that's a big chunk of change you're saving. The rest of them though, it's honestly pretty average compared to the rest of the market. But at the same time, you know, you've got barbells, you know, like the Rep Colorado bar, which is a really nice barbell, but the cheapest one for that is still 320 bucks or so. So you're saving, you know, over $100 compared to many other barbells out there. And I think that's a really awesome thing for people who are working with a tight budget. Okay, so as far as actual construction goes, the 15 kilogram bar is right around 79 inches long with 13 inch loading sleeves and a diameter of 25 millimeters. While this 20 kilogram bar is 86.7 inches long with 16.4 inch loading sleeves and a 28.5 millimeter diameter. Now you do have dual neural markings right here, IPF and IWF standard, International Powerlifting and Weightlifting Federation for those who don't know. Now, as far as actual knurling goes you could say it's moderate it is moderate but it probably leans more towards you know passive now you do still have you know a volcano style knurling so it's going to help increase the friction between your hands and the bar but you know power lifters may not be too crazy about it so just you know kind of keep that in mind now this is a multi-purpose bar and that's because you have eight needle bearings in either loading sleeves but it also looks like you have bronze bushings right here so you're gonna have a pretty solid rate of spin. Now, something worth noting about the, the bearings is that they will degrade at a faster rate than bronze bushings will. So it's kind of a trade-off. You get more spin, but if you only had you know, bronze bushings in this bar, the sleeves would essentially last you longer. Now, that's not to say it's only gonna last you a year or two. It's definitely gonna last you longer than that, but just kind of keep that in mind. Now, you do have a grooved pattern on these loading sleeves and that's going to help you you know keep your weight plates in their original placement this really comes in handy you know as you're doing deadlifts and you drop that bar any anything where you're dropping the bar with loaded loaded weight on it right as you do that the weights tend to you know slide down the loading sleeves so that grooved pattern helps but you should definitely still use some collars you know and just kind of lock them into place to help you out you also get a lifetime warranty on this bar, which I think is a pretty sweet thing. Now, it's not gonna cover any negligent use, you know, such as using you know, damaged weight plates, but it's still nice that you get to have that. And then lastly, you know, I just touched on it, but remember this bar is available in four different finishes, right? So I've got the black zinc right here in front of me. It comes in two different colored Cerakote options, black chrome and that stainless steel. Okay, so I wanna show you guys the anatomy of these loading sleeves and really just show like, you know, you, this is a affordable barbell, but there's some really sweet specs here, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of this loading sleeve off. So I mentioned you have needle bearings and you have bushings in the loading sleeve. So I mentioned eight needle bearings. There's actually four of these in each loading sleeve. So if you can see up close, there's these little rollers in here, right? So that is what is, spinning as you can see i'm kind of spinning it right there so there's four of these in each barbell and here uh, loading sleeve excuse me actually i'll show you this other end right here so this is your bronze bushing right here it's going to help with the spin a little bit too so these produce a really solid rate of spin and like i said this is how you clean and care for your loading sleeves i have a kind of a goofy video on, on how to properly do that but the information is there if you want to go check it out so over time you know these are going to you know have dust and dirt kind of build up and what you want to do is take it apart as I did, kind of wipe all this oil off. Right now, this is really solid oil still, so I'm not going to touch that right now. But you'd wipe it off, get a three-in-one multi-purpose oil, you know, kind of rub it in, and then basically you're good to go. And then you'll just do this reverse process right here of putting all your stuff back together. I'm not going to bore you with that right now, but that's basically, you know, how that process is going to look. Actually, you know what? Let's just keep rolling because this doesn't take you a whole lot of time. And this is a very essential thing to do for your barbell and it really like, it, it's it's effortless sorry my snap ring pliers are over here so get yourself a nice set of snap ring pliers like these right here Just push that on in snaps right in then you got your end cap right here push that on in and then you got your other snap ring 
This one does get a little bit tricky sometimes. <laughs> Doesn't matter how many times you do it, sometimes it just takes a second and that's all right. It, but like I said, this is gonna increase the longevity of your barbell and it's important to do. Really not that bad once you get the hang of it. And that's what is you know, creating that solid rate of spin. Now let me step back into the rack here. Now let's talk about the knurling. You know, once again, it is kind of passive. That could be good for some people, could be kind of bad for others. You know, it really just depends on what style of lift you're doing. So once again, this is a multi-purpose bar. It can handle all of it, but you know, the knurling here is probably, you know, best suited for Olympic and CrossFit style lifts. However, you do have, you know, dual neural markings right here. This inside one is IPF, other one is IWF. Powerlifting Federation, Weightlifting Federation. So it's gonna allow you to, you know, get that identical hand placement as you go to get set for your lifts. Remember this version right here has 190K tensile strength rating, 190,000 tensile strength rating. The stainless steel is 200,000 tensile strength. So, you know, the 10,000 is really not that big of a difference, but you know, whichever one you go for, it's really solid. It's gonna be able to handle all that punishment, you know, that you bring its way. You also do not have any center knurling right here. I like that, you know. With a power bar, it's nice having it, you know, whenever you're going to do your back squats. And in general, you can make the argument that it, it's you know, worth having it. I prefer to not have that right here, especially, you know, with a multi-purpose bar, whenever you're going to do any lift where that bar is resting on your chest, you know, it's not gonna, you know, tear you up right here. So I think this barbell is an ideal solution for anybody who's working with a tight budget. Remember, it's as cheap as 200 bucks and only as expensive as $300. It's also going to be an awesome option for anybody looking for a bar that can be used across all of their lifts since it is in fact a multi-purpose bar. And then if you're in the market for a 15 kilogram bar, I think this is a really solid option to consider as well. Now, on the flip side, for somebody who has you know, rough hands, you might not be too crazy about this knurling right here. It's a little bit on the passive side of things and that could come, you know, into a negative effect, I guess you could say, as you're going to do those power lifts, you know, especially a deadlift and that just, you know, could start to get pretty slippery on you as you start to lift some heavy weight. And then another thing here is that, you know, yes, it is a multi-purpose bar. Yes, it can be used across all of your lifts, but it's, remember, like I said earlier, it's not the best at any one, you know, particular lift. So if you are a dedicated lifter and, you know, one end of the spectrum, I think you should go after a specialty bar. All right, well, that's all she wrote on today's review over the Iron Bull competition bar. I think this is a really solid option for beginners to consider, but also for anybody who's on a tight budget since it can be used across all of your lifts. That being said, I don't think it's the best option for anybody who has a heavy emphasis in powerlifting since the knurling is a little bit passive. Thanks for watching y'all. I hope this video was really helpful and I was able to break down everything there is to know about this barbell. As always, stay posted for my next video, but for now, head over to barbend.com because we have a full written article about this barbell. All you need to do is search Barbend Iron Bull Competition Bar Review. It's gonna pull right up for you. You can go over every single thing we talked about here today. I'll catch y'all next time.